guys welcome or welcome back today i will be painting over this sketch you might recognize it from one of my portrait sketching with ballpoint pens video i will be linking it in the description but i've been really bothered by this one <laughs> every time i flip i flip through my sketchbook and i see it i am so tempted to paint over it because there is just something off with her features so we're gonna try and fix that i will be using my whole bind gouache once again and this is just a very tiny sketchbook it's five by five inches and this sketch was done with just ballpoint pens and my g-tech pen So as I was working over the sketch, I started to realize what was wrong with the proportions. I figured out that the eyes were too big and also they were too close together. And not only that, her nose is too high on her face, I think it's a little bit too short. I initially thought that her mouth was just drooping down but now I realize that it's actually just the nose being too short so i'm gonna lengthen it and the best thing about gouache is that i can work with opaque colors like this one i with opaque layers like this one so i can just cover that up really easily if i were using watercolor paper i could also just build up my layers and start out with something very watery so i can have like a lot of depth to it but that's the great thing about gouache is that it's very versatile in that way. As for the color scheme, um, I chose to go with really natural looking colors, very earthy, almost like just a very warm brown. And I chose these colors also, also so I can highlight the differences between the very messy and also very vibrant looking colors that I chose to sketch with for the sketch underneath. Um, I did use bright colors as accents to her th her clothes but i think overall this whole piece just has this very earthy looking colors which i think works in this case i don't know what do you guys think about the color choice There is one part of this painting where she kind of starts looking like Mojo Jojo from the Powerpuff Girls. Um, I think it's because I just went overboard with the dark blush on her cheeks. So what I did was just paint, um, mix some more transition colors and then just blend out a lot of those edges. What I love about gouache is that you can still move them even after it, they have dried. I don't think I can do that with a lot of my other mediums. I, I really can't do it with acrylics. With oil paints, kind of, but not really because once they're dry, they're dry. But you do have a lot more of a waiting time for your paints to dry with oil paints, so there's that. Um, 
watercolors you can lift them but i don't think you can move them around like in the same way as gouache so gouache is special in that sense and i really love that about it so what i do in cases like this is i just make sure that my brush is clean with just water and then i i dry it but not completely um, I just make sure that it's damp before I use that brush to go over the edges and then I can just blend over and then I can just blend the colors out better. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's really it's really important for this painting to look somewhat polished in contrast to the sketch underneath. So that's why I'm really taking to the time to do that. So this one is gonna be different from the other two videos in this series because this time I'm gonna be leaving out a lot of the ball pen sketch and I'm gonna try to have the painting over it sort of complement the sketch underneath. I also want to highlight the contrast of the two since my sketch is very I, th I think it looks very messy but it's not necessarily bad it's just not very polished like all of my sketches and i'm using i was using my pens for it my pens for it so um makes it more obvious and it's also done on top of this very white background so what i'm doing with the painting is i want it to look polished and also I want to work with darker values for it so it stands out really well on this bright sketch. So because of that, I am using my ivory black again, which I actually discovered makes more realistic skin tones than just using blue. Um, I found that out in my Anne Hathaway gouache video. I will also be linking it in the description. So I think when I use the ivory black instead of the blue, I get more natural looking skin tones. It keeps me from making them too vibrant, which is not bad, but it's just not the look that I'm going for today. The black itself is not going to be very obvious in the final piece. In fact, I don't think it's going to show at all that I was using gouache, uh, or that I was using black, but it just keeps me from oversaturating my skin tones. Um, I did go and use some bright and vibrant colors just so, just as accents to her outfit. But I still think that, that but I still think that overall it I ended up with really natural colors for this one. I think it's ended up looking very oh, a very warm brown. Although I did add some green shadows, but again I still made sure that that kind of green just was just leaning on the natural side of green. <laughs> Fun little sketch i did it in a couple of hours and that's why this video came out so soon after the last one but i want to ask you guys something again um i am planning on painting one reference photo but with different mediums and i want to see how different the paintings would look like well when i'm using 
different mediums to paint one picture. But my question is whether you guys would want to see the each individual painting as its own video or just one video where I can really show the only the highlights of each painting so I can show the differences when I'm using different mediums. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think. Um, that will be that will be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be seeing you again soon.